Hi, it's Kelly here, and I have got a news flash for you. This is so exciting. In fact, it's at least two news flashes. Um, it has to do with the Heartfelt Energizer, and some of you may be familiar with how powerful it is, and, and it's turning into what appears to be by far the greatest healing uh, tool ever invented by orders of magnitude because it, it seems to heal people regardless of where they are in relationship to where the where the energizer is and so t today I found out or something that confirmed why the heartfelt energizer is so extraordinary and it's complicated and there's jargon and stuff, so I'm kind of reluctant to try to explain it to you. But you know that, you know, with uh, in the past, I've come up with so many things that have turned out to be accurate. You know, like pain magic, for example, relieving pain in 30 seconds for a lot of people. Um, uh, my recipe for autoimmune disorders, it reverses autoimmune disorders without effort and helps people to get over the sugar cravings without effort, without having to try to change their diet. It just automatically they wanted to change their diet. Um, my recipe for cancer that, that got rid of my stage four cancer in two weeks, uh, the Heartfelt Energizer, the Whirling Bliss Machine, these things enabled me to lose 100 pounds without dieting or exercising. And then there were my predictions that uh, started a couple years ago. I said that at this time, we would be having much increased levels of, of flu, and of course, a cold would be a virus as well. And we have seen that when you combine the two, the flu and, and the virus deaths in the United States and around the world, it's been much elevated. I predicted two years ago that this would result in, in food shortages, and there have been food shortages in various places in the world, and shelves empty, and what have you, the economy would collapse because of these things, and we've seen just that. These predictions were not hard to make because they were based on physical science uh, having to do with electricity. Our bodies are electric. You know, electricity is either on or off. And I knew that things were going to be quote-unquote off. So, so I, it was obvious that this was going to happen. Well, this uh, awareness I came across today is based on discoveries of others. Um, and it has to do with something called the microtubules. And I talked about that in a video yesterday. Microtubules are tiny little flute-like structures in our, in our cells in the mitochondria that organize our DNA. So, and they do that through voltage. So something that can make organize something as complicated as DNA has got to be pretty extraordinary. Well, it turns out that the coil structure of the, of the microtubules is what makes it work, and, and, and it's being called the fourth source of electricity or something like that, a fourth kind of electricity. Uh, there, and again, there's jargon. There's the, the, you know, inductors, resistors, capacitors, you don't need to know this stuff. Those three things can generate certain kinds of electrical properties. But the coil shape of the microtubules, the flutes, if you will, allows them to have properties that, that the others don't have. Well, the heartfelt energizer is based on those coils. It has the Lakowski series of coils, and it has the Flanagan spiral type coils. And this is what has made the Heartfelt Energizer orders of magnitude more powerful than anything I've ever seen. And I keep a pretty close eye on, on pretty much what's out there. And this is, this is leaps and bounds beyond anything. But today's discovery, by confirming what it is and why it is that it works, I can now in the future at some point take it orders of magnitude beyond where it is now. Now why is that significant? 
it's significant because it means that the the electromagnetic fields that we're experiencing now that interfere with our flutes, you know, the microtubule flutes that organize our DNA from Wi-Fi and 5G are distorting the generate the regeneration or the, or, the, or the recreation of the of new DNA, you know, as the cells replace them, each other, replace themselves they organize DNA to do that. Well, 5G and, 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 and the uh, Wi-Fi interfere with it because it's pulsing. And it's, it's, a, it's electrically magnetic. And so those electrical magnetic pulses interfere with the function of our tubules so that slowly or fast, some of our DNA is being made improperly, so it results in things like wrinkles and aches and pains and much worse things than that. So by understanding this, this, the design structure of the Hartfeld Energizer is, you know, its orders of magnitude larger than the microtubules. So by making it bigger, and focusing more on that, we can make them big enough to neutralize just about all the 5G and all of the, the uh, Wi-Fi. This is critically important because, you know, in biology, you don't, things don't deteriorate in a straight line. They deteriorate slowly and then they fall off. For example, if your liver is 60% compromised, you can sort of function in this world halfway decently. But when it's 70% compromised, that's terminal. So just that 10% increase. And because things like 5G and Wi-Fi are cumulative in their harmful effects upon us, uh, and they're increasing the amount of it that's being put in place. You know, every day, every week, they're installing more and more of it. It means that the deterioration that we've seen just in the last few months is going to be accelerating. The notion that people are getting colds, and some people really are getting colds, in, this, in the summertime, they're showing up because they're sick and they can't breathe. And it's not just a few people. You know, summer colds are not so common, right? And they certainly, colds don't kill people as a rule, right? But people are in fact dying and they are in fact getting colds because the 5G and the Wi-Fi is cumulatively affecting their immune system and not only do they have a cold, but the DNA is not being remade properly and this results in the body's shutting down. It could shut down the kidneys, it could shut down in the lungs or the liver or wherever, or heart. And so people are, in fact, dying. Now, the news that I have, it's, it's really important that we, that we get this to someone because I don't know how to do it any other way. You know, it's like, why am I doing this on Facebook or YouTube? Because I'm you know, I'm turning into a great inventor, but I don't know jack about how to get the message out. So you could be the person responsible, co-creator of protecting 7 billion people on this planet from dying, and not only people, but animals and plants, including the pollinating insects. There have been videos made of bees on the sidewalk. Boom, boom, boom. And as the guy's making the video, it's like two minutes long. By the time he gets to the end, there's twice as many bees on the, on the sidewalk as there was before. And he points out that it's right between two 5G cell masts. So we are killing off more and more bees. And we're introducing more and more of it. The bees, like us, are it's cumulative. So we could end up without having enough food just from the bees and the butterflies and the other insects that pollinate food. Plus people getting sick. You know, when one person is sick, that, makes, that, that affects the supply lines. 
it affects things. You know, it's we're finding out how complex things are. So it's you, by sharing this, can get it to the right person. And I get advice from people uh, saying, contact this person or contact that person. I'm going to ask you not to do that. Don't ask me to contact someone. I've done that. And they never respond. If they hear from a third party, there's an increased chance. Now, they, you might not know them personally either. So you think, well, I can't contact them. They don't know me from Adam. This is why I just say simply share. That's all you need to do. Share, period. Nothing else. And the reason that you're sharing it is that I'm incapable, it seems, to running a business of making this go, to, to making it happen so that we can save the bees, the butterflies, the plants, the animals, and ourselves. If we get this in the right hands, I would love to be able to turn this over to the person who knows how to do this. Just turn it over. You know? And let me be the person who keeps making these huge discoveries because I keep finding over and over and over again ways of doing things that no one else has thought of. That's what I'm good at. So let me continue to focus on doing those things. I shouldn't be the one trying to contact people. I don't go about it the right way, apparently. But if you share this, this will get to the right person. Just like I came across this little article was on a forum. This person wrote this thing on a forum, and they got like one response, and the person responding was like, what? And then I saw it. It only takes one person to see it to make all the difference. Because when I saw it, I realized how to turn the heartfelt energizer into orders of magnitude stronger. And we need to do this fast. We, you know, I, I'm going to make a prediction here. Uh, this Christmas is not going to look like any Christmas you've ever seen. And I don't mean that in a good way. Things are going to turn really bleak. Already in the summertime, we're already having economic impacts because, as I mentioned in the video yesterday, governors are becoming brain dead, just like you and me. They're not me because I, I'm protected. Uh, their brains aren't working. The microtubules in their brain are not working, giving them enough spark to think. The cilia in their brain are not working adequately. It's slowing down the fluid in their brain. Their brains are drying out. And so they are tired. And the simplest thing for them to do is to just shut everything down. Because then they can say, even if it doesn't work, they say, well, I tried to do, I did my best. I tried to help, and it wasn't good enough. But I did the best thing I could. And that's because they got lazy minds right now because their brain physiologically are not functioning properly. And I would say to you that your, there's a good chance that your brain is suffering in the same way, that you're feeling fatigued. Your family is feeling fatigued. People in your family, maybe you're more irritated than normal. Have you noticed how the warmth of the sun in the summertime feels more irritating than it has ever before? Last year it was irritating. This year it's irritating to most people. I have a lot of gear on me when I go out. It just feels warm and pleasant. It's that simple and basic. But for me to make these discoveries and not be able to get it out to more people means that you are going to suffer. So I'm asking you to take a simple action. Could you share this, please? Could you share it? Don't worry about if it if it's anybody in your group has the knowledge, because we don't know who the next person is going to be that's going to see it. Just like today, I came across this little little article, and it was dense. It was dense, but I was able to understand it enough to realize the import of it. One person. You could be the person. It will be 
co-responsible for saving the planet, all the life on this planet, by taking a simple action, by sharing this. That's all you have to do. Um, it, so that means you don't share with me who, to, who I should share with. You don't say to me, do this or do that. I'm already doing my part. I'm asking you to do your part, to be a co-creator in enabling the world to live on. Because right now, things don't look good. You're going to have a hard time. You know, I'm the only person, it seems, to understand that we actually have a solution in our hands. And so if we can get this out in more people's hands, uh, then we can make things change. Because there's too many people who are locked in to their beliefs. But if their brain starts working better, things will go better. You know, there's a gentleman who has... He has a 12-inch heartfelt energizer. It's one of the very, very few. He doesn't have all the parts to it. But he's already come up with three different inventions. He says at least two of them will change the industry of what, that where his inventions would be applied. So we know already, or we have a good idea, that just going from 8 inches to 12 inches is huge. And But I need help with this. And the way I'm going to get the help is if you share this so that the right person steps forward and says, I will carry this on. I will carry this on. And I have the ability to do it. Well, thank you for listening. You've been wonderful. Let's, let's save this planet. Let's save your family. Let's save you. And uh, take care and God bless.